Hello, I'm Leanne McSherry from Four Kinder Teachers. Today I will be modeling a lesson on how to draw using directed drawing. Directed drawing is a step-by-step -step approach to teaching children how to draw. It enhances their ability to listen carefully, pay close attention to details, use descriptive language, and follow directions. Directed drawing is a great way to build confidence and help your children view themselves as artists. Anyone can teach this. Let's begin. Today we will be drawing our mothers. Close your eyes and think about what your mom looks like. What does her hair look like? What color is it? What color are her eyes? Okay, turn to someone near you and tell them what your mom looks like. Okay, now when we do our drawing, you're going to need to listen with your ears You're going to need to watch me. Then I'm going to have you talk about what you're going to do. And then finally, you're going to get to draw. I want you to think about your mom and what shape is her face? Hmm, my mother's face is an oval. So we're going to draw a big oval on our piece of paper. But before we draw the oval, we're going to take our fingers and we're going to say big oval. Can everybody take their finger, put it on their paper, and draw a big oval and say big oval. Do that one more time. Big oval. Now you're going to draw that big oval. Okay, that's my mom's face. And it doesn't have to be perfect because my mom's face isn't perfect, but it's beautiful. Now what's right in the middle of your mom's face? What is that? It's a nose. Yeah. Good. All right, it's a nose. So we're going to put a nose right in the middle of that face. But I'm going to tell you, I slant down and then I go straight that way. Let's practice that with our fingers and let's say that. Go first, the middle. So find the middle and slant down and then go the other way. Let's try that again. Find the middle, slant down and go the other way. And now you can draw it. Slant down and go the other way. There's my mom's nose. Now my mom needs some eyes. Think about what shape are eyes. Turn and tell your someone that's sitting near you. What shape? Eyes are round. They are round. Eyes are round. So I'm going to show you how different ways to make eyes. So you can either make an oval or a circle, but I'm going to tell you there's something inside of those eyes that goes like this. It's the iris, and it's another circle, and then there's a dot, and that is the pupil. So if you make your eyes a circle, then you still need to put another circle inside for the iris, and then a dot for the pupil. Let's use our fingers and let's say that. And we're going to put our eyes, look where your nose is. We're going to straight across and we're going to go right up just a little bit. So your eyes are not way up here in your forehead. They're just a little bit above that nose. So take your finger and draw where you're going to put your eyes. I'm going to draw my eyes just a little bit above the nose on each side of the face. Are you ready to do that? Okay. Okay. I'm going to do an oval and an oval over here. And then I'm going to put the circle, which is the iris, and then another dot, which is the pupil. And there's my mom's eyes. What's above my mom's eyes? Hair. What? There is hair, but what are these things called? Eyebrows. Can you feel your own eyebrows and feel what shape they are? Let me see. Hmm. 
It's like an arch. It's kind of like this. And your mom's eyebrows are like that too. So I want you to take your finger and above these eyes, I want you to, with your finger, make an arch. Okay. Eyebrows. Can you go ahead and do that? And now we'll draw it. Now, what's missing? I think mom needs a mouth. There's lots of different ways you can make a mouth. You can just do something like this, which is a smile. You, however you think you'd like to do your mom's mouth. I want you to think about that for a minute. Turn and tell your partner how you want to do it. How do you want to do your mouth? A smile? I see someone. Let's draw it with our fingers. And we're not going to put it way down here. We're going to put it just a little bit, because feel, it's just a little bit below your nose. So we're going to put it right here, okay? Go ahead and draw. I think I'm going to draw that kind of a smile for my mom. There's some stuff still missing. Do you know what's missing? What are these? Ears. Ears are missing. Do you know that the ears are pretty much equal to your nose? If you take your hand and touch your nose and go straight out this way, what's on each side of your head? Yeah. An ear. So we're going to put an ear on each side. First, I'm going to go straight like this. And ears, you can just even make a C on one side and then a backward C on the other side. You know how to draw a C, I bet. So I'm going to go straight out from here. Can you practice on your paper with your fingers? Where are you going to put those ears? Point. Let me see that. Oh, good. Good. Okay. I'm going to put my ears now. There's one ear. There's the other ear. Now, what is my mom missing? Hair. Hair. She doesn't have any hair. Okay, you really need to think about what your mom's hair looks like. Does your mom have bangs? Does your mom have hair like this? Or is it really long? Maybe your mom wears her hair in a ponytail because she likes to. I don't know. My mom has short hair. I'm going to show you some different ways to make hair. And then you can decide what you want to do. So, let's see. If you want to put bangs, you could just go like this right across the top of their head. But their hair always goes above their head. So my mom's hair is actually short and goes like this. Now, if you have a mom that, I'll give her some more so you know it's a face. If your mom likes to wear ponytails, then you're going to go from one ear all the way around to the other ear, and then you're going to put a ponytail on her head. Like that. I want you to think about what your mom's hair looks like. On the top of the hair. Up like this one? Mm -hmm. Okay. So my mom's hair, it looks more like this. So, but first I'm going to make the hair that comes off the head. You're going to go up above the head. Can everybody take your finger and point above the oval there and say up above? Up yeah. above. Good. Then you're going to, I'm going to make my mom's hair. I'm going to bring it down right about to there and I'm going to do the same to the other side. And then, remember I said my mom has bangs? So I'm just going to put some That looks pretty good. That's starting to really look like my mom. But it's just a floating head. And we're actually making a portrait. So that's going to be like your head and your shoulders, like if someone took a picture of you. And you would have a neck and shoulders in the picture. So let's make a neck, okay? Now, my neck is smaller than my head, but not a lot smaller. So if I made a neck like this, it would be look too teeny. 
And if I made a neck way out here, it would look way too big. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go here and here. And I'm just gonna make two straight lines down. And I want you to take your fingers and I want you to put a line here with your finger. Go straight down and stop. Straight down and stop. And now I'm gonna do that. Here is my mom's neck. But you can't just have a floating neck. She needs shoulders. Shoulders are so easy. You just go straight out. Almost. It depends on, let's see, I think I'm gonna go straight out on this side, straight out on that side. And then I'm gonna come down to the very end of my page. Now I have to make her collar. And you can make your collar round. You could make a nice little, almost like a smile here. You could make it a V, depending on what kind of shirt she has. Hmm, I kind of have a round one. My mom usually wears rounded shirts. So I'm gonna put, and I go from this line, which is her neck, and I connect it to the other, to the bottom of this line. So I'm going from the bottom of that neckline, curve around to the bottom, of the other line. Now, you're going to have to color this to make it look like your mom. And if your mom wears jewelry, you could draw earrings on, maybe a necklace on. And if your mom wears glasses, you could put glasses on. You want this to look just like your mom. So I'm gonna stop here and I want you to talk about what else do I need to put on this to make it look like my mom? So after you have your kids realistically color it, just back it on some colorful paper and it'll look great. A couple of tips are um, post-it note white cover-up tape and white out will fix anything. And also make sure you practice drawing before you draw in front of your kids, which I obviously did not do. Thank you.